reprieve for international students who risked being deported. The Trump administration rescinded a policy that would have forced them to go home if their schools offered classes entirely online. The decision affects tens of thousands of students in the Boston area. As Christina Rex tells us, the reversal is a big relief to both the students and their colleges. The policy reversal comes after Harvard and MIT sued the Trump administration, along with 18 attorneys general, including Maura Healey. What it means is that they should feel comfortable going ahead and signing their leases, being prepared to continue with their studies. Attorney General Maura Healey declares victory after the Trump administration backs down on a policy that would require international students to take classes in person in order to stay here in the U.S. You have the lease that you signed already. May Nagaoka is a rising senior at Tufts, one of 77,000 international students here in Massachusetts. She would have been forced home to Paraguay instead of returning to her apartment at school in the likely event her classes are online this fall. Everything is so uncertain, so this, you know, at least school was a certain for me, and then now, and then it was stripped away from me. Um, yeah, it, it was just devastating. The Trump administration canceled the strict policy after multiple lawsuits. It's an attempt to put pressure on college universities to open up. I think that the president had an idea that he wanted the country to appear in September, that things were on the upswing. One way to do that would be to show that Colleges and universities were open, students were back on campus. To create confusion and anxiety among the immigrant population and to restrict immigration of all kinds as much as possible. After a week of stress, students say they're grateful to be heading back to school, regardless of where they'll take class. It feels really nice. Um, I'm really happy that Harvard and MIT kind of spearheaded the lawsuit. And here in Massachusetts, international students are believed to contribute about $3.2 billion to the annual economy. At Harvard, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you. Now